DJ Greg E.C. here from the DJ Entertainment School. I wanted to share with you a bunch of tips and tricks that can help you when you do your events. So here they are. First and foremost, be early. Arrive at your event at least one to two hours before the start time of your event. Why so early? In case something happens or goes wrong, then you have time to get whatever you need, especially if you need to run to the store or if you need to run back home. You have that time to get what you need. When you get to your event, find out who's in charge, the banquet manager, the caterer, the owner of the event or establishment where you're going to be. Shake their hand, say hello. Find out where you need to load in. That's quite important. Some halls and places are very finicky or particular about where their DJs or bands load in. Find out where to park because there might be special parking for you or there might not be. When you arrive, if possible, make sure you get your client and let them know that you're there because this way they're actually going to know that you're there on time or you're early. All right. Before you load in all of your equipment, scout out where you're going to be and make sure that it's an easy trip, especially if you have a hand truck um, or there might be alternative ways in that make it easier for you. That's why you need to scout it out. It's also a good idea to make sure that your power outlet is on and working the minute you get there and that it's easily accessible and very close to your table. Set everything up as casually and respectfully as you can and be mindful that the people there are also going to be setting up for a party as well. When it comes time do, to do your sound check, make sure that everyone at the hall is informed that you're going to be doing a sound check and it's going to be loud so that they're prepared for it, okay? so that when you do your sound check, it's one of the most important things you can do. Um, you're going to be there. You're gonna to have to run your sound check at a very high volume, um, a bit higher than it would be than normally at your shows when you're speaking, especially the volume of the music so that you can test the maximum level to make sure things don't blow and that the outlets can handle it. So make sure the staff and the people there are informed that for a few minutes, you're going to be playing at a very loud volume. It goes a long way, okay? One of the other things you're going to want to do is tune in your mics at this time. Make sure that your highs and your lows are set correctly um, so that when you step in front of your speakers, you don't get feedback or a loud squeal. You also want to make sure that all of your music is or organized and hopefully in a playlist. And then make sure you have all of your paperwork together so that you're ready to go when it's time to meet your client for the introductions or before the introductions. Okay, make sure you have backups of mostly everything. For example, some type of backup powered speaker so that if there was a problem, you're ready to go. You should be at least rolling with three powered speakers anyway, so that if one goes down, you're ready to go. Um, plus, you can use the third speaker as your mini setup so that when music is needed for the cocktail hour, for the ceremony hour, you have an extra one to use and you're not using one of the two out of your main system. Okay. You should also have a backup computer. All right, with backup software on it. You should have a backup hard drive with all of your music on it that's formatted for that computer and ready to go. All right, you need a backup microphone that is both wired and wireless and any cords that you use. For example, if you use XLR cords, then bring extras. RCA cords, bring extras. Whatever cords or adapters you use, including AC power adapters, computer, hard drives, um, their AC adapters, bring extras, okay? In part two, we will add a bunch more cords we'll start off with, but a bunch of other stuff, as well as an emergency bag to carry it all in. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Keep up with all the latest videos, tips, and tricks we give you here at the DJ Entertainment School, and please help us out and hit like on the video. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter at DJ Entertainment School. I'm DJ Greg E.C. here from the DJ Entertainment School. Thanks for watching and take care. And if you have any more ideas for videos, or um, information that you would like us to have in future videos, please comment at the end. Thanks. Take care.